Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It's DemoXDK. Follow on here. The Brit that don't quit. All right. So for you guys up in the magical land of YouTube, I'm here today to bring you how long I can survive in the first room of Call of the Dead. All right. So there was no doors open in this entire video. So this is going to be round 20 without opening any doors, killing George three times with the M14. All right. So, I didn't actually go for this. This wasn't something that I went to a game and went, you know what, I'm going to go for as long as I can in the first room. I was actually going to do a live stream today, uh, but with some technical difficulties with the uh, programs that we were using for it, um, we I couldn't do it. So, I was sitting in a uh, solo match waiting to go for the uh, round 60, and I was just pissing around shooting George, and then his light went red, and I was like, hang on a minute, can I kill George? Okay, so apparently I can. So I sat there and I killed him for one time and I got a um, marathon from it. But by the time I killed him the first time, this was by like round 7 or 8 I think it was, I'd already lost every single quick revive I had. And that was because, as I said, I wasn't trying to do this challenge. And um, it takes about 1,500 M14 shots to kill George. Um... Yeah, I kind of did the math on how many points I was using um, and how many shots that you get for the amount of points that you spend. So yeah, it takes about 1,500 shots. Um, you get you get random perks. I got lucky to get Juggernaut as my second perk. Um, I got Marathon first. Um, the tactics for this is hug the wall. Man, you've got to hug the wall when you're doing this. Because if you haven't got Juggernaut and you're jumping in that water, some zombies can run faster than you, especially if George gets pissed off. He sort of like curses the zombies to run extremely quick, like marathon runners. Seriously, you whack these guys on a track and they'll win the Olympic Games every time. Alright, so the aim is to hug the wall around the Quick Revive Island. The fact that the Quick Revive machine wasn't there was a good thing because then there was nothing in my way. I could have got a lot further than uh, round 20. But as I said, I wasn't going for anything special. Um, I didn't want to restart the game after I killed him once. So I wanted to see how far I could get. Just piss arsing around. It doesn't really matter if I'd have gone down in my opinion. Because I wouldn't have had Juggernaut and I would have gone down repetitively afterwards. Which would have sucked uh, quite bad. But moving on from that. Uh, the perks that I had in this were Marathon, Juggernaut, and Double Tap. Um, see, I can't imagine any other perk being useful. I mean, Deadshot Daiquiri, it would have been alright to have that, but it was round, it was like round 18, 19, and no matter what, the Olympia and the M14 were going to fail. The only reason I was getting um, quite far was because of the Wonder Waffle. Now, a lot of you guys are going to be asking me, how did I get the Wonder Waffle without doing the Easter Egg? See, I have no clue. I didn't do any um, mods or glitches or anything like that. The game was working fine. But it just seemed to give me a Wonder Waffle for killing George instead. Or, and I didn't have to do the Easter Egg. I have no clue why that was. But the Wonder Waffle did get me through a couple of rounds. Um, the Wonder Waffle guarantees you, I think it is, two rounds. And you'll have a couple of spare bullets after. But the best thing to do with those spare bullets are to either... Ditch up the hordes or kill, jo uh, spray them away and use the crawler. You get a crawler in the rap run that you're playing. Kill him again, grab another Wonder Waffle and so on and so forth. So this could go on um, till about round 30, round 40. Um, I could have gone for a lot, uh, could have gone a lot higher and I am planning to do it again. I just want to upload this video uh, right now because I'm going to be going to, uh, I'm going to upload this to GUnit 123's channel. Um, a lot of you guys know that me and G-Unit have had a rocky relationship, but um, I've spoken to him and I've apologised for raging off and he's accepted my apology. At the same time, it was just a misunderstanding and we spoke about it and it's all been sorted. Anyway, so this is going to be going on to G-Unit 123's channel. Thanks for helping out, man. And then while that's going up, I'm going to try and beat it for you guys, my subscribers. I'm going to do... At least round 30 with this. I'm going to go for it with the M14 again. And see how far I can get in the first room. I'm going to hit round 30. I guarantee it. Um, the reason I went down in this is because I was piss arsing around. And Sam was over. And I was talking to Sam while I was doing it. And I got stuck on a little wooden post. Um, but as I said. we I definitely wasn't trying to get very far doing this. Um, it was just a random game. So 
yeah, if you guys want a tutorial on how to get far on Call of the Dead, I can make you guys one. I'm actually very good at Call of the Dead, and uh, Zombies, uh, as it is, is a very easy game. Um, certain maps have uh, the requirements of a certain number of people to get very far. Some maps can only take one person, two people, um, and some maps, like Call of the Dead, can take four very easily. So, um, yeah. I'm going to be doing some tutorials, I'm also going to be trying to get um, quite far on other maps and stuff like that, but Call of Dead is all the rage right now, um, not many people want to see Kino 5 or Ascension videos, and nobody really wants to see Dead Ops, seriously. If I made a Dead Ops video, it'd be me failing epically, just running around going, Here oh, look, a little stick man, yay, yay, I can spin around and shoot. But we're going off topic again. Alright, so, I hope you guys enjoy this. Um, there isn't really much to say except for the hug the wall tactic, um, just keep firing, be persistent. This took about an hour and a bit to do. Um, you do get death machines on the rare occasion, oh my internet box just fell over. Um, you do get death machines on a rare occasion um, on single player without the power. Um, I did use a death machine one time, or I think it might have been two times, two times to weaken him a little bit. but. I had to actually kill him legitimately with an M14 the entire way through one time. And let me tell you, that was a piss take. Alright, so, there isn't really much else for me to say except um, chat. thank you to all my subscribers for supporting me. Thank you guys for uh, watching my videos. Um, this was Demo DK Farlon, um, bringing you how long you can survive in the first room. I know the commentary is pretty bad, but I really haven't got much more to say for this except for it was great fun, and I hope to bring you guys some more decent videos. If you guys have got any uh, random challenges that you want me to do, or if you guys want to play a Nazi Zombies game with me just for fun, um, then yeah, you know, I'm always available, and if I've got time and I'm not recording, then I will happily play with my subscribers, my friends, and my viewers. And, you know, just have an all-round good time. Alright, so I hope you've enjoyed this. Don't forget to leave a like so people can see this video, you know. The more likes you leave, the more chances people are going to see this video. Alright, so, I'm going to sign out now. This is Demo XDK Farlon. The Brit don't quit. Take it easy, guys. Peace!